back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about my porcelain veneer experience with dr joshua jim i think that's how you say his name correct me if i'm wrong uh in beverly hills california so i got four sets of porcelain veneers on my top teeth i got a lot of questions about my porcelain veneer experience how much it cost how was the process and all that so I'm going to be answering some questions that I got off of Instagram and some that I just thought of that might help you guys if you're interested in getting porcelain veneers or thinking about going to Dr. Jim and Beverly Hills. So let's get right into it. Okay, so question number one, why did I get porcelain veneers? So I have always had a couple of gaps in my top teeth. I had one right here in the middle and then I had two on the sides here. So I've always wanted braces because I did not like my gaps. I wanted to get them closed and I just wanted braces. So I went to about three or four different dental offices and they all told me the same thing. They told me that I could not get braces because the way my teeth were shaped, that the gaps wouldn't close all the way and braces wouldn't even be worth it. So the first three that I went to told me that braces was out of the question that I could not get them. The last one that I went to told me that they would do it for me, but they highly don't recommend me getting braces. Like the orthodontist literally said, if I was her little sister or niece or something, she would not do this for me. Because like they said, the gaps wouldn't close all the way and it just wouldn't be a good idea. So, after hearing that a fourth time, I decided that, okay, like, I'll look into veneers because they kept telling me, just give veneers, just give veneers. So I said, okay, I'll look into it. That's what made me get porcelain veneers. I really didn't want them. I wanted braces or Invisalign to keep my teeth. My teeth were good teeth, you know, like... They weren't jacked up teeth. It was just mostly my gaps. Now my teeth were small, which I heard a lot. I did have small teeth for my age, but besides that, my teeth were perfectly fine. I just wanted to get those gaps closed. Okay, question number two, how long did it take? So originally I booked my appointment in November of 2020 and I wanted for like the next week or a couple weeks, you know, just to get in my initial appointment. They literally told me that the soonest they had was January, I think, 4th, uh, 2021. <laughs> so I had to wait a couple of months for my initial appointment. Um, you send in pictures of your teeth through email and then they set up a Zoom call. So I had my Zoom call and that's when he told me um, the process, how much it would cost, and all that. Okay, so let me go back a little bit. So my first appointment was a Zoom call. My second appointment was in January, and that's where I actually had to go into the office, and he looked at my teeth, um, they took x-rays, and they bleach your teeth, and they put on um, basically a temporary set of teeth of what the porcelain veneers will look like just to give you a feel um, for a couple weeks to, uh, so you can come back and let him know if there's anything you want different, if you want um, a different shape, a different size, whatever. You wear them, the temporary ones, and then you decide what you want after those two weeks. So I had those on for a couple weeks and when I went back for my third appointment, that's when I told him that I absolutely love them, but I just wanted the shape a little differently. Like, I wanted mine more square, so for the actual veneers, he squared them off. So yeah, so now I'm at the third appointment. He squared them off, he took off the temporary ones, they clean your teeth, and then they put on the actual final veneers um, at the third appointment. So in total, there's three appointments. You will have to go into the office, um, I think, a total of three times. After the third appointment, which is in person, you have to come back one more time so they can see your teeth, how they're doing, um, if you need anything, any extra work or anything. And that's typically the next day. 
So it honestly wasn't too bad. The first appointment, like I said, was on Zoom and the next two appointments are in person. And then the final appointment is the next day just to make sure that everything looks okay. So question number three, uh, did it hurt? Now, for me personally, it didn't hurt. They do numb you just like at any other dental office. So they numb you, you know, and I didn't feel anything. But I will say what did hurt was the bleaching process. Yeah, the bleaching process hurt. And they told me after my appointment um, that they would give me Advil because the bleach, it's gonna hurt. And I didn't feel anything initially. Like I was like, oh, well maybe, you know, it just didn't affect me. And they kept asking me like, do you feel any pain? Do you feel any pain? And I was like, no, I don't. And the lady at the front desk told me that the pain will come, it's gonna hit at once, but then it's gonna go away. I'm not gonna feel it anymore. I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe I won't get it. Y'all, as soon as I walked out, to go meet my Uber driver because at the time I didn't live in Los Angeles, I lived up north. So I had to fly out there and I got a hotel. So I called my Uber to pick me up to take me back to my hotel. Oh my God. I literally could not talk. Like you feel the pain in the nerve, in the roots of your teeth. It hurt so bad. But she was right, it only lasted like a couple of minutes, then it went away. Luckily, by the time that my Uber driver got there, I was able to communicate and stuff. But y'all, it hurt so bad, but it is temporary, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. It does go away, but just keep that in mind. Okay, question number four, how far in advance did you have to book? So I had to book three months in advance, as you guys heard. So keep that in mind, if you do wanna get veneers, just know it's not gonna be uh, like the next day. It's not gonna be like an Amazon package at your door the next day. No, he is booked and busy, okay? This man is good. He is one of the best um, dental surgeons in the world probably, and he's booked and busy. So just be prepared for that. Uh, okay, so question number five, this is the most highly requested question. I got this question so much from so many people and it is how much did it cost? So this is how I like to calculate it. On average, porcelain veneers cost between 2,000 to 3,000 per tooth. Because you guys have to keep in mind, these aren't just regular veneers. These are porcelain veneers. So they last um, on average about 10, 10 years longer than regular veneers and they look better in my opinion so they're gonna cost more so in total it cost about twenty five hundred dollars per tooth and i got four teeth done and that doesn't include tax that doesn't include all the other stuff so in total i paid eleven thousand seven hundred and ninety six dollars for four porcelain veneers um Keep in mind, it's about $2,500 for a tooth, and then it's about a thousand in taxes and other stuff. So I would say definitely consider how many do I really need. You know what I mean? Like if you're just trying to close a gap like me or something, you don't need like a whole set of porcelain veneers. For me personally, I only needed four. Now he did recommend that I get six, and he told me that he even left like a little a little space. So I can come back and get the other two in the future but that's definitely not at the top of my priority list right now I got what I needed I love these veneers I feel like they look so good and I feel like I honestly don't even need six so yeah it is kind of pricey but honestly you get what you pay for no they don't take insurance so you are paying out of pocket but luckily they do have a payment plan for people if you want um they go through a company called care credit and it's where they cover the entire cost and you pay them back monthly with an interest rate fee now i looked into that the interest rate fee is pretty high unless of course you pay it off sooner but if you are really just desperate for porcelain veneers you need your teeth done it's an insecurity or whatever I do and this leads me to my next question was it worth it absolutely yes I do recommend getting porcelain veneers if you have gaps if your teeth 
if your tooth got chipped or your teeth are chipped, whatever it is you have going on, this was one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. So I highly recommend getting porcelain veneers. Like I said, this dentist is one of the best dental surgeons out. He went to UCLA, got his degree, and he was so nice. He was very chill. If you guys see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. But he was very chill. He was very nice. He works with you. And this man gets like some top tier people, you know, celebrities and all types of stuff. But he made, he treats everybody the same. He made me feel so comfortable. And I highly recommend going to Dr. Joshua Jim to get your porcelain veneers. Okay, so one more thing that I wanted to add. Um, after you get your veneers, you will have to wear a night guard and they will provide you with a custom night guard that looks like this. Mine's is all faded because I've had it for a while. But, um, so they will make the night guard for you. This is mine. And you just pop it in like this. And you sleep in it. So for me personally, mine wasn't ready um, at the end of my appointment. But because I live so far, they just mailed it to me. Got there within like a few days to a week. And I was set. So it is very important if you get porcelain veneers to wear this. Make sure you wear this. I'm not going to lie. There are a lot of nights that I forget to wear this. I've gone on vacation and completely forgot it. Luckily, my teeth are still good, still in great shape. But I do highly recommend that you wear them. So before I close out this video, I just want to give you guys one more close-up of my teeth. I have big lips, so... <laughs> I have big lips, so I'm gonna lift up my lip to really show you guys the gums. These are the four teeth that I had done. And yes, you guys, I absolutely love these teeth. He even cut my gums at the top. It healed super quickly, I think within like three days, three to five days. And I highly recommend getting veneers. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you all. And if you are considering getting porcelain veneers and you're in the Los Angeles area or anywhere around the world, I highly recommend Dr. Joshua Jim. I hope I'm saying his name right. He's so good, he's so talented, and he's just amazing. Make sure that you guys like this video if you found it helpful comment down below if you have any questions and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below thank you guys so much for watching bye